Every, I mean Bet, Second Chronicles, Chapter 19. Then Jehoshaphat, the king of Yehuda, returned home to Rishaim in peace. Yehu, the son of Hanani and Seir, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Should you help the wicked and befriend those who hate Adonai? Because of this, Adonai's anger is upon you. Still, there is some good in you, in that you have removed the sacred poles from the land and have set your heart on seeking God. So Jehoshaphat lived in Yerushalayim, and again circulated among the people, from Beersheba to the hills of Ephraim, bringing them back to Adonai, the god of their ancestors. He appointed judges throughout the land, in all the fortified cities of Yehuda, city by city, and instructed the judges, Think about what you are doing. You are not dispensing justice by merely human standards, but on behalf of Adonai. He is with you when you deliver a verdict. Therefore, let the fear of Adonai be upon you. Be careful what you do, for Adonai our God does not allow dishonesty, partiality, or bribe-taking. In Yerushalayim, Jehoshaphat appointed some of the Levi'im, Kohanim, and the clan heads of Israel to judge in matters concerning Adonai and in civil cases. After they had returned to Yerushalayim, he charged them, Here is what you are to do faithfully and wholeheartedly in fear of Adonai. When an issue comes before you from your brothers who live in their cities, whether it's a case involving bloodshed or a question as to which teaching, mitzvah, law, or ruling applies, you must warn them so that they won't incur guilt toward Adonai and thereby bring anger on both you and your kinsmen. <clears throat> Do this and you won't incur guilt. Amar Yahu, the chief Kohen, is over you in all matters concerning Adonai. And Sabbath Yahu, the son of Ishmael, chief of the house of Yehuda, in all the king's matters, the officers of the Levaim are at your service. Be strong and act, and may Adonai be with the good.